this is not fully new information. This has already been told to us. It's just not been presented in the way that you're looking at it now with a risk score. Or that uh, proposed model is based on general principles of spread of communicable diseases, particularly airborne, and why the CDC has advocated for social distancing and, and masks and general hygiene. The general philosophy is that each thing has a risk category assigned to it. Uh, and that's how we think of many things in medicine. Uh, we'd like to assign risk categories even to chronic disease processes as it relates to COVID. You know, I think being outside allows you plenty of room between or plenty of space where you can socially distance being confined within a certain space and the, the higher number of people that you put within a confined space potentially increases the risk assuming there's someone there who is infected and I, yes i think at this point uh, we should assume most everyone has uh, potential shedding of the virus the, the burden of the virus is certainly increasing in our community right now. Uh, one person infected likely infects four to five others, and that number could increase in a crowded uh, situation in a confined space. Do you think there's value in that data? I think it's good data to share with the public. And uh, as a blanket statement, it makes sense that those are the higher risk activities and the lower risk activities. But there are minute details that you have to pay attention to uh, 